This program is suitable for most people, however it should not replace a supervised exercise program. Please consult your local doctor before commencing an exercise program, especially if you have one or more of the following. Have had joint surgery, any medical condition affecting your heart, lungs or blood pressure, joint inflammation, you have not been doing regular exercise. Stop exercising immediately if you experience one or more of the following. Chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, dizziness, numbness or tingling in the arms or legs, severe pain or discomfort in your joints. The producers and distributors disclaim any liability or loss, personal or otherwise, resulting from procedures in this program. here for Move It or Lose It at down at the Port Melbourne Beach. It's a fairly sunny day today. The sun's come out to say hello. We're going to get into some mat work Pilates today focusing on our upper body. So sides of the body through the obliques, our abdominal muscles and then up through those shoulders and arms. Uh, as we're doing any exercise today, if anything's not feeling right or you need to slow it down or anything like that, please do. It's your body. You know it the best. And for today, we don't really need any uh, spe specific props, but if you do have a block handy, um, I very much recommend bringing one along. There's an exercise that we can use to help uh, stabilize our shoulders a little bit more. If you don't have a block, you can also use a, a book that's about the same size as this or a small like couch cushion as well. Um, as we get going, we're gonna start off with a little warm up through our neck and shoulders, starting by looking side to side. Looking up and down. And then back to side to side again. And up and down. We're going to hold our head down. Nice little light stretch as we pull with those hands. And then looking up and holding. Taking our ear from shoulder to shoulder. For another four. Three, two, one. Holding down to one side. I'm just going to take my hips and rock them from side to side as I'm doing this as well. Just get those areas moving. Take those nose, look it forward. And then other side. And then making our nose and looking forward. And releasing our little head circles here. Taking them as small or as large as you want. Two more. And last one. Now rolling those shoulders back. Take it to the arms. Take them back. Take our shoulders forward. Oh, every time the seagull yells for us, it means we're doing a good job. And take those arms forward. Two. One, arms across the body. Other side. Release it out. We're going to roll ourselves down. So if you want to, you can bring those feet in a little bit closer. I'm going to roll to the side just so that I can still see you. Rolling it forward, bending those knees if we need to. Rolling down nice and slow. We're reaching down for the ground. If you want to, you can just come down to the ground normally. You don't need to take part of this roll. But in this roll, we can take a pause in our forward fold and go for a little sway side to side. Can help loosen up that spine. Hands are going to walk forward. Feet are going to walk back to a downward facing dog. Again, you can just meet us on the floor if you need to. Knees coming down towards the ground, hands underneath those shoulders, hips in line with knees, some cats and cows looking up and down. Mat work Pilates, we're going to be squeezing through that midsection in a moment. And the sensation is almost like we've jumped into some really cold water motion. Looking up and down. Pushing it back, releasing it out. We're gonna come down onto our backs to move through some exercises through both our arms and our legs. 
So we're going to be doing a little bit of brain Pilates for you today as well. We're going to be doing some cross-body move movements. That means one leg is going to be moving and the opposite arm is going to be moving. And we're going to swap it over. It's a bit tricky, but I hope you can keep up with me. As I said before, we're starting off getting that midsection ready. We're going to squeeze in through all of those muscles, kind of like we've just jumped into some cold water. We're going and keeping it nice and cold. Nice and cold through that area. Squeeze it tight, but we're going to build that warmth as class goes. We're going to start off with our leg slide. One leg's going to extend out and then draw it in. We're going to exhale, breathe out, and then inhale, draw it in. As our leg slides, we are squeezing through our legs, almost like we're pushing away a big, heavy concrete block with those toes. Exhale, extend, inhale, draw it in. Keep swapping sides each time. Another two. And final one. Now we're gonna take it to the arms, getting those arms ready to go. Our arms are gonna extend up, keep them nice and strong and stable. One arm is gonna come back towards the top of the room, back, or in my case, towards the beach. It knows where it wants to go. After our exercise today, I might jump in because it's such a sunny day today. Sun has come out to play. Exhale, extend. Inhale, draw it in. As we're doing this motion, I want you to check in on your rib cage. Make sure your rib cage isn't popping out off of the floor. We're keeping it flat to the ground and stable. Now, if your hand doesn't reach all the way down to the ground like mine, that is perfectly okay. We all have different shoulders. Just take it down as far as you feel it going comfortably. We're gonna do another two. One, and then two. We're gonna keep those hands up high. As I said, cross body movement's gonna happen. We're gonna extend our right foot as we take our left arm towards the ground. Extend, inhale, draw it in, keep going. We reach back into the middle with those hands up towards the sky. We don't take them down towards the sides of our body. And our arms aren't scissoring and our legs aren't moving at the same time as each other. They are moving one at a time. Exhale, extend, inhale, draw it in. Squeeze through that midsection. Exhale, extend, inhale, draw it in. This is just the warm up. We're just getting started. Exhale, extend, inhale, draw it back in. And in, let's speed it up. One, keep going. Two, let's get to eight. Three, four, we got this. Five, six, seven, last one, eight. Okay, well done. Take a few moments break. If you need to bring those hands down, you can. While I talk you through what we're gonna do next, we're gonna do both arms and both legs together now. A little bit more of a challenge. Inhale, squeeze through that midsection. I'm gonna start with pointed toes. We exhale, extend through both arms and both legs, and then squeeze and draw them back in. Keep going, exhale, extend, and then squeeze, draw it back in. We got this. Let's keep going for another five. Squeeze, four, Breathing out as we extend, breathing in as we come in. And then last one. And squeeze, well done. Give those knees a little hug in. That was our warm up. We're gonna move through some more core movements to get ready for our upper body to get started. So we're doing some abdominal curls first. We have our feet on the floor, knees hip width is apart. Hands gonna come behind the head to support our head. If you do need to, you can instead use those hands as a guide, just like we did before. But now we're gonna be lifting up through our body. As the name suggests, abdominal curl, we're gonna pretend that we're drawing our ribs in towards those hips as we curl off the ground, lifting through our head and through our shoulder blades. That midsection's doing the work for us though. We're not using our hands to just pull up our bodies. We are squeezing through that midsection. Exhale, lift. Inhale to lower. If your head doesn't need the support here, as I said, you can instead use the hands as a guide. Lift, hands to either side of the knee, lower. But if your neck needs a bit of support, if it doesn't feel comfortable doing it by itself, then having those hands here is totally fine. We're trying to keep those elbows nice and wide as well. We're not pulling them up and in and covering our beautiful faces. We're keeping our face open and ready for the sun, getting that vitamin D for today. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Let's do another four. Three, exhale to lift, inhale, lower. Two, and then last one. One, well done. We're gonna take it through our oblique. So that's the side of the body now. We're gonna be using our hands as a little guide to start with, but then you can take your hands behind your head if you need. 
If you also need to start straight from there, that's okay too. I'll give you a bit of a different tip in a moment. We're gonna take our hands up, extending through those shoulders, hands nice and stable. In a moment, we're gonna be lifting just like we did for our abdominal curls. But as we do, we're gonna tilt slightly to one side, take one hand on the inside of the knee, other hand to the outside of the knee. We're pointing towards the outside of the thigh with our nose. Then we lower down to the center and swap over to the other side. Exhale, lift. Inhale to lower. And again, exhale, lift. Inhale to lower. Keep going. Exhale, lift. Inhale to lower. Both shoulder blades are still coming off the ground. If you need to take the hands behind the head, you can. We're not pointing with our elbows though. Our elbows stay wide. We are instead, as I said, pointing with our nose. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Feeling it through the side body. We've got this. We're feeling the burn. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. For another five. Four, keep going. Three, two, and one. And well done. Hug those knees in towards the chest. We're gonna have a few moments break and then you're gonna join me on our side lying series. Welcome back everybody. We've just finished with some upper body movements and working through our abdominals and obliques. We're now going to go through our side lying series. Now we're not going to be here for too long before we then move through some extra movements focused up on our arms. We're going to come on down to our side lying series. There's a few options here for your arms today. Option one, we can extend our arm out flat and use our head to rest upon our arm as a little pillow. Option two, we can bend the arm and cup our head like a little pillow instead. Option three, there's a few options here. I told you there's four options. Option three is we can take a block or a pillow underneath our head as our arm comes out in front, or you can slightly bend it, whatever feels most comfortable for you or your shoulder. We're gonna be doing this on both sides. And then finally, option four is we can be upright on our elbow. And when we are here, we're not dropping through this uh, side body. We are lifting up through the rib cage and creating a nice straight diagonal line for our spine. Any of those options for your arm is gonna to be totally fine for any of the movements today because they are focused on the lower body through our side lying series. I'm gonna take it to the option two, which is using my hand as a little cup underneath my head. For our legs, we have our feet in line with our hips, in line with our back in a nice straight line. We're pushing our hips away to stack them evenly and we're imagining that we've got a big brick wall pressed up against the back of our body, nice and stable and supporting us. Our hip bones are facing forward the whole time. They're shining forward. We're not rocking and dro dropping back through the back of the body. We're keeping everything nice and stable by inhaling and squeezing tight through these midsection muscles. Again, like we've just jumped into some cold water and we're going, in and holding it tight. Have a nice big breath in, hold those muscles tight and as we exhale, we're gonna open through the knees. Our toes are pushing together towards the floor. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Exhale, open, inhale, close. These are called our clam ones. Exhale, open, inhale to close. Hip bones stay facing forward. We've got this, keep on going. Great work, let's do another five. Four, three. Final two and last one. Well done. Keeping those knees in the same position, but we're going to lift our feet off the floor now. If you want to, you can take that block that I did talk about before and you can place it underneath the feet for a little bit of support. Up to you. But we're having our feet off the floor, everything else is the same. Inhale. Tighten, exhale, open through the knees, inhale to close, just like our clam ones, but now our feet are off the floor. Clam twos, exhale, open, inhale, close. Open, inhale, close. Another five. We got this, four, three, two, and one. Well done, bring the legs down, give them a little smack, hopefully feeling that burn. We've got one last movement here, and this last movement is creating some circles. So we're gonna extend, kick out the leg, keep it nice and straight, and we're gonna draw some little circles through those toes along the hip. Nice straight line, so it's not just the feet moving, it's the whole leg. Keeping in those nice circles and breathing in whatever pattern feels good for you. I'm gonna inhale for a few, exhale for a few.
keep going for another five, four, three, two, one. Legs coming down, give them a smack. That is it for this side. We're gonna swap on over to the other side. As before, you have any option for the top half of the body. So we can be up on the elbows, we can be down on the arms, whatever feels good and adjust as you need to. Not each side doesn't have to be the same. But what does have to be the same is our legs. We have our feet in line with our hips in line with our body, like we're pressed up against a brick wall. Pushing those hips away, squeezing down through those toes. Exhale, open, inhale, close. These are our clam ones. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Keep going. Enjoy the sunshine and the blue skies as we forget about the pain and the burn. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Keep on going. Inhale, close for another five. Four, three, two, one. Remember, we're squeezing through that midsection. Our feet are coming off the floor now. We're pressing through those toes. You can take a block under those feet if you need to. Exhale, open, inhale, close for clam two. Still going, still feeling it, but we are getting stronger and stronger with every movement. Exhale, open, inhale, close. For another four, three, two, one. Well done, bring those feet down, give them a little smack. Last movement here for our side lying series. We're gonna take our leg, extend it up, point through the toe, keep it on through the hip and draw nice little circles. Breathing in whatever pattern feels okay for you. In for a few, out for a few. Circles, 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 we have got this. Keep on going. For another five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Give it a little smack. Roll to your tummy, and we're going to push back for a pause moment in child's pose. Sinking back, hips towards those heels, hands reaching forward, head towards the ground. Coming forward, we're going to be on our hands and knees for a few moments here. Uh, before we do, I'm going to talk through the wrists and shoulders, and make sure they feel safe and comfortable. Some options for the hands. We can take our hands into fists, going to keep our wrist nice and straight. Um, option two, we can grab a block or a couple of other things and grab a hold of it. So sometimes if we're holding as we reach around something, switches on those muscles through the wrist a little bit more and it makes it feel a bit more stable and strong. Or option three is just to have your hand flat like so, just making sure you come up and give everything a little bit of a rock and roll around every now and again as we uh, break between each exercise. So this first exercise we're gonna be doing is called a Pilates push-up. You have the options of either doing them on the knees or on the toes. We're gonna to have our hands directly underneath our shoulders. Our hands are pushing through the floor here as our shoulders stay nice and stable. Our elbows are gonna be bending down. As they bend, they're gonna come beside the body. Try not to let them chicken wing out towards the sides of the room or wherever you might be. We are keeping them in towards the sides of the body. Our knees are wiggling back a little bit, so we've got a slight diagonal line between our hips knees to our shoulders and if you want to as I said you can also do it on the toes up to you on the knees or on the toes. Pilates push-ups are a little bit extra special they're not like regular push-ups because we are stronger than that we're going to come down for counts of three and then push up on the last four as we exhale out so inhale down for one two three exhale to push up so three slight small movements with a stop and then one big solid movement to push up. Three, down one, two, three, push up. Oh, down one, two, three, think of those gains, push up. Down one, two, three, push up. Keep going, one, two, three, push up. Another one, two, three, push up. And two, two, three, push up. And three, 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 push up. Last one. Well done. Push it back, give those wrists a little wriggle. One more exercise left and then we're gonna have a nice short break and finish off through a side sequence to get through that side body and those arms a little bit more. Okay, so we just did our Pilates push-ups here. We're now going to do a plank. We're at the beach. We're gonna channel our inner pirate and do a plank. Option one for the plank, as I said before, we can have our hands into fists. 
but now this time you can come down onto your elbows or forearms if you would like to just then I would recommend you would be on your toes if you are going to be down on your elbows I'm going to stay on my hands and I'm going to stay on my knees if you want to you can take it to the toes if you are on the hands as well we are squeezing through that midsection we're going to lower it a little bit more than we did before so we can feel it but we're not dropping through the hips we're not creating a banana shape we've got a still a strong stable and straight shape through here and we are squeezing out through those shoulders those shoulders that just work so hard through our Pilates push-ups and we are going to breathe here as we hold our plank channeling our inner pirate at the beach thinking about someone walking the plank and how much we're happy that we aren't there this plank is more bearable compared to that plank and at least that's what we tell ourselves. We're gonna keep on holding, still breathing. We are not giving up. We might be shaking, but hey, it's a rough, rocky sea today. Why not? We're gonna hold for another 10. Keep going. Nine, eight, seven, six and a half, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push back, we earned it. Nice little rest here, pushing back to child's pose. We're going to take a short break. You can rest in child's pose for that break and then we'll come back to finish off our Pilates session. Welcome back everyone. It's Christy here down at the Port Melbourne Beach for Move It or Lose It. Lovely sunny day, the sun has come out to play and we are almost done with our Pilates sequence. We just finished off with our plank. R, channeling our inner pirate. We're now going to be on the side for these next few movements here, and we're doing one side of the body at a time. It's a bit of an awkward one, so there are some options for you. Again, you can have your handy dandy block for a bit of stabilization. We can have our block here, because we're going to be upright. So I'm going to show you the movement first, what it looks like. We're going to have one leg out to the side, one leg bent below us, and then our arm off to the side. If this is a bit low or feels a bit uncomfortable for you, that's where your block can come into play. You can bring your block up and that can help support you. If it's still feeling a bit wobbly, you can grab um, your elbow onto like a short stool or something like that. And really, if you need to, you can be a bit more upright and be holding onto something. You're just not gonna find as much height with this leg if you were up high as opposed to down low. So bear that in mind. Taking whichever one feels right for you, I'm just going to be slightly up on my block, so I'm taking it down to its lowest possible level. In this position, we have a straight line from our toe to our knee to our opposite hand. And as best as we can, we're going to keep our chest from going forward. We're going to keep it nice and open, heart open wide, ready for this last lot of our sequence and then our cool down. This leg's going to be doing the work for us, so I'm going to keep my hand out of the way by resting it on top of the hip. We're going to squeeze through that leg, lift the leg, and lower. Now, if this isn't enough of a challenge for you, you can bring this hand up high and that's gonna bring the arm into it a little bit. And if you really wanna challenge yourself even further, the hand can reach up as the leg comes and down. Up and come down. I'm just gonna keep it up high for now. That's a bit too much brain power for me today on this sunny, sunny day at the beach. So I'm just gonna be focusing in on that leg. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. It's a bit of work here through that side body. We are squeezing through that midsection, just like we have been in all other parts of our sequence today. Exhale, open. Inhale, close. For another five, four, three, two. We feel it through the leg and one. Well done. Bring it down. Take a few moments here. I like to give my legs a little bit of a smack, make sure they're still awake. We're going to return to that same side. And we're going to do a little pulse through it now. So resetting, knees coming up, hips coming forward, chest staying forward. Hand can come up or hand can come to hip. From here, we're going to lift our leg up, hold it in the sky and light, light pulses. Like we're bouncing a little miniature basketball with that toe. If ba bouncing basketballs isn't your thing, then you can think of something else that might bounce. Again, you might be high-fiving the floor. We got this. For another five, four, three, Everything else staying as still as you can. Two and one. Well done. Bring it down. Oh, give it a smack. Swapping over to the other side. I'm going to bring my handy dandy block over to the other side. I am coming up onto my knee. My other leg is extending out. Again, if this is too low for this side and you need to adjust, you can. I might be good still down here for me today. Really lifting up through that midsection so we're not dropping forward. 
We are keeping it facing forward as we exhale, lift and lower. Tap the floor each time, lift and lower again. Hand can come here, it can come up or it can extend as the leg moves. Extend as the leg moves, whatever you'd like to do. I'm gonna bring it down to my hip on this side because I'm feeling it. We are still breathing. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Keep going. In and lower for another five, four, still smiling, three, two, and one. Well done, take a few moments break, give everything a smack. We've got that pulse happening to finish up these cool down kneeling side kicks. Completely forgot to tell you what they were called, but they are called kneeling side kicks, as the name suggests. We are kneeling and we're kicking to the side, lifting that leg up and then pulse, 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 pulse. Bouncing that mini basketball, we are holding our breath. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, well done. Give everything a little smack. Whew. Okay, coming into all fours for the last time, I promise, for some cats and cows, looking up and down. Down dog, tucking in those toes, lifting the knees off the ground, pedaling the feet. Walking the feet up, walking the hands in, forward fold, go for a little sway. If you need to come up some other way, that's okay. Just meet us in a standing position. Slowly roll up. Arm comes across the body. Other side. Nice big circles with the arms. Other way. Holding onto something if you need to, stretch through the leg. Other side, hold, stretch through the leg, getting through the front of that leg. Releasing out, head side to side, up and down. Hold it down, hold it up, here to shoulder. semi-circles and then take a big breath in breathe out kick it forward Whew. well done give yourself a big round of applause thank you very much for joining me today through our mat work pilates sequence focusing on those upper body muscles my name was christy You're here for move it or lose it down at the port melbourne beach and i hope to see you again some other time go and enjoy the sunshine